I had three other children at the time who were neurotypical children. They had their challenges, but with Seth, it hit me so different. I started noticing that his language just didn't continue to develop. Pragmatic language, but around the age of four was when we got the definitive diagnosis. He would melt down and throw something, and I mean really hurt somebody. We didn't think anyone would understand, and it was really, really challenging. And it took a lot of effort for me to sometimes make it through the day. The 100 Day Toolkit that Autism Speaks provides, and I'm a sucker for learning, right? Like, I'm a professor, so for me, I needed knowledge, I needed information, I needed resources. They provided that to really help us and encourage us to keep going. I knew that Seth was going to be a, a big guy. I said, you know what, Seth needs to feel like he's a part of the boys too. He'll have a workout regimen. Finally putting the pieces together to try to make him healthy was the best thing I ever did for him. my social media network of family and friends all across the nation, all across the world have joined in. For me, finding community was really important for his growth and development and for helping me grow and develop. Me and Janet just really clicked, you know, we just really clicked and it, it became like I had a sister in the fight, you know. The people we connect with are not just our constituents, but they're also like our family members. I did know that community matters and Autism Speaks provides that. And they have the strongest voice in the autism community and they have a powerful message and I love it.